Careful, Kate. If you must share appointment with Eric, that won't mean I will reduce your objectives. Without reducing them, could we spread them out? As long as you don't reduce them, you arrange them as you like. It's not my problem. Yes, but we decided that this trimester I should train on certain matters. That doesn't mean you'll stop working. I train during working hours. Oh, no, Kate. Don't try and pull a union card. Not with me. Hold it. It's not that. What I mean is I'd like you to take into account the time it takes me to train. Fine, OK. Takes time. So what? I need help finding a solution to integrate the training into my work. Apart from working more, I've no idea. But of course there are solutions. Go ahead. Well, um, for example, keeping my annual objectives, we could spread them out month by month. That's not possible. I do a report every month. I can't have an empty month. It wouldn't be empty, and we can justify the gap, especially if we promise to catch up. I could also work on other accounts, similar to Eric's, for example. That would allow now, me to... I have to, to stop you right away. We don't touch accounts. It's too sensitive. Yes, but if colleagues get on well for a short period... They'd... Oh, no. Afterwards, we don't know how to work out commission. Exactly. For once, we could try to group the commission instead of individual compensation. Wait, you're reworking the commission structure now? No, but are you mental? Do you want to break team spirit? No, you listen to me. You get here earlier in the morning, leave later at night, and all is well. At the most, you can spread your appointment with Eric out over two quarters. Hang on, I'm being very flexible here, no? I don't know what you need. I'm trying to find realistic solutions, but if you don't like it...